Hi, I'm Brad Kalignan with Valpo Athletics, and we're here at Media Day with football to interview players and coaches on the upcoming 2013 season. And now we're joined with redshirt sophomore running back Jake Hudson. Jake, you had an outstanding freshman year. I think everybody probably remembers the Campbell game. It was actually about three weeks prior that it seemed that something clicked with you in the Drake game. What was it, and what can the Crusader fans expect out of you in 2013? Yeah, the, um, the Drake game was really fun. It was, uh, it was really rainy that day. Um, I think, you know, the rain and, like, uh, just having a lot of bottled up um, from freshman year. I was on the scout team most all freshman year. So um, I was just ready to explore. I was ready to show uh, the fans and um, the coaches, you know, what I had, the potential that I had to play with. So, um, and this year, uh, you know, I'm just really excited to get back out on the field. And, uh, you know, I'll do anything this year to, to win a game. I'm, I'm ready to win and uh, so is our team. And uh, we're just really excited for what this year holds. Sure. And as a two-time academic uh, PFL honor roll uh, member, You've shown that you can handle a work in the classroom as well as on the field. What sort of advice do you have for the freshmen, the newcomers coming in, as far as being able to, to manage uh, on both both the classroom and on the field? Yeah, I think I think that just takes a lot of um, focus, a lot of consistency. I know that uh, you know everybody knows and understands that the season is a long season. Um, it's a lot of work. Football is a lot of work. There's meetings. There's lifting. Um, you know, we're always busy. And school, you know, school comes first, and, uh, you know, that's not too easy either. There's a lot of tough classes that this school has, and really it comes down to just being, you know, consistent and just knowing that um, you know, there's going to be some hard days, but you got to stick through it and stay focused uh, and just, you know, try to try to be excellent. So. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks. So now we're joined with head coach Dale Carlson in his fourth year at the helm for Valpo. And, Coach, we're a little more than a week away uh, from the season over in North Dakota. As a coaching staff, where are you guys in preparation for that for that starting game? Well, you know, we've been pretty heavy brand into uh, our prep for a North Dakota game. Uh, we, of course, got every video, uh, exchanged every video with, uh, with them from last year. And uh, while they have some new coaches, uh, you know, we, we think they're going to be doing the same thing. So uh, we've been preparing off what we've seen on the video and uh, just kind of working day by day, adding a few new things uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, kids haven't seen from North Dakota as we go through. And that's our preparation going pretty well. Uh, Coach, are there any freshmen or newcomers that you expect to contribute immediately out of the gate? You know, we uh, we felt like we might have some uh, some of the newcomers in the defensive line step up and play. And uh, uh, Bama Powell, it's a great name for a football player, uh, has been that freshman that stepped up. We think that he'll see uh, so quite a bit of time uh, coming into this North Dakota game. On the offensive side, uh, Denzel Conway uh, at running back, Grayson Bastion at running back, and Brandon Paul at running back, all three um, have had a great camp, and uh, we expect that they might see some action. Maybe a couple of receivers, you know, we're not quite there yet. We'll see how the uh, this next uh, week and a half plays out before we get to game time. And, and overall, what are your expectations for this 2013 team? Well, you know, we're at the point now where we've got all of our recruits here. Uh, we've got uh, a number of guys that have played a lot of games. You, know, you look at our quarterback who started 20 out of 22 uh, possible games in the last two years. You know, we've got other players that have played anywhere from 12 to some 30 games. And, you know, it's now time for us to uh, to be more consistent, uh, to put ourselves in position, you know, to, uh, to, to win some games late. And, uh, so that's what we're looking for is consistency, uh, execution of assignment and technique, and that experience to really step up and, and make a difference. Thanks for joining us, Coach. All right, Brad, thank you. Appreciate it. And now we're joined with redshirt junior quarterback Eric Hoffman, number 19. Eric, what does it mean to have a back like Jake, who's a threat to the running game? What does that enable not only yourself but the offense as a whole to do? Um, well, it allows us to throw it downfield more, too. When he's being successful, it brings the defense down. If they try to stop him, lets our receivers get behind the safeties and we're able to create more, more plays down there. Now, how was your role, you know, again, as a, as a redshirt junior, how has your role evolved in the past uh, year or so? Um, I see myself as more of a vocal leader. Um, I'm captain now of the offense, the leader of the offense, and uh, I, I just know what to expect in all situations, playing situations, uh, what the coaches want, um, in any little drill, um, just any situation. So I see myself as a vocal leader. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. And now we're joined with sophomore D lineman John Guilford. Uh, John, starting in week three last year, we started hearing your number quite a lot. Uh, we led the team in sacks and uh, tackles for a loss. 
put on 35 pounds. What can the Crusader fans expect for you, and what goals have you set for yourself this season? Well, I mean, I still want to be that uh, outside threat in the pass. I mean, I still want to keep getting those sacks and maybe bump up my number earlier. And still was kind of disappointed last year in how low my sack number was, but you know, I'm going to keep trying. I get, they get bigger, so hopefully that helps. And just mainly hopefully our whole defense line can step in and get a few more sacks this year. Sure. Obviously, you had a great freshman year. Uh, what was the biggest transition for you coming from high school ball here to, to Belva? Well, I came from a very small high school, so I mean, it was a huge transition. So, the main thing was just trying to live on your own here, and then the football speed was so much different. So, yeah, you're good. Thanks for joining us. Good luck this year, John.